Good evening. I'd like to talk about reading metric micrometer with 100 millimeter resolution. Let's start talking about the different parts of this micrometer. First of all, the U shape is the frame, and the frame is simply holding all the parts of the micrometer. Sometimes the frame is covered with thermal insulator. And we have here the technical specification of this micrometer. So the range of this micrometer is simply between 0 and 25 mm. And the resolution of this micrometer is 100 millimeter. At the front of the frame, we have the anvil. And we have two cylinders. The outer one is called the thimble. And the other one is called the sleeve. On the sleeve, we have a graduation which reads the whole millimeter and half millimeter. And on the thimble, we have another graduations, which contains 50 equal separated lines. If we rotate the thimble clockwise, if we look at the micrometer from this side, we have here what's called the spindle. The spindle advance toward the anvil. If we rotate the simple counterclockwise, the simple return back. In order to close the micrometer so that the thimble cannot be rotated and the spindle also cannot be rotated, we have here to move the lock lever and at the back of the micrometer we have the ratchet stub the ratchet stub is simply is used to, in order to make the contact between the front of the spindle and the workpiece we need to take the measurement regarding the 100s on the frame it's called sometimes resolution, sometimes called the graduation, sometimes called the least count, sometimes called the precision. So all of these have the same meaning. Before starting using the micrometer, we should check for any zero error. Simply we can check by first closing the micrometer completely by using the ratchet stop. So in order to make the contact, between the front of the anvil and the front of the spindle, we should rotate the ratchet stop instead of rotating the thimble. If you rotate the thimble, you are applying a high torque, so you will get an error in your measurements. So after closing the micrometer by the ratchet stop and locking it, we should check here for the two scales first of all this line which is called the reference line which lies on the sleeve should line up with the zero line on the thimble scale and regarding the edge of the thimble it should lies up with the zero line on the main scale so in this case we don't have any zero error if there, is, <clears throat> if there is an offset between the reference line and the zero line, so in this case we have something called positive or negative zero error. So we should first repair this error. Let's understand how to read the two scales. First, let's understand how to read the main scale or the whole millimeter and half millimeters. This line is simply 0 0.5 mm, this is 1 mm, this is 1.5 mm, this is 2 mm, this is line number 14 mm, this is line 14.5 mm. Some manufacturer of the micrometer changes the location of the millimeters and the half millimeters. As you see here below, the whole millimeters comes below the reference line and the half millimeters comes above. So the same how to read these lines. This is the half millimeter line. 
this is one millimeter line 1.5 two millimeters 10.5 13 and this is the last line on the sleeve which is line number 25 So this is the way how to read the main scale or the sleeve scale. How we can simply read the thimble scale. We have on the metric system micrometer, we have 50 graduations on the front of the thimble. So the way how to read this line is very simple. So this line is line number 15, so it is read as 0 0.15 mm. This line is line number 17, so it's 0.17 mm. This line is line number 19, so 0.19 mm, 0.21 mm, 0.23 mm. We can continue here. This line is line number 46, so it's 0.46 mm. This line is 0.48 mm. This line is line 0, and this line is line 0 0.02 and this line is 0 0.04 so this is the way how to read the lines of the thimble scale let's take this example in order to understand how to read the metric micrometer first of all before starting the main scale or the sleeve scale we take the edge of the thimble as a reference for reading the thimble scale. We check for the last full millimeter on the sleeve scale. So we have this line, which is line number five. So we have a full millimeter equal to five. And after the five and before the edge of the thimble, we have this 0.5 millimeter. So this is the half millimeter. So the total reading of the sleeve scale is simply 5.5 mm. Now we should read the thimble scale. In order to read the thimble scale, we take this reference line or index line into consideration. So this reference line lines up with this line on the thimble scale. This line on the thimble scale is line number 28. So we read it as 0.28 mm. Now we can simply sum up all of these two values. So the full mil millimeter, we have five millimeter. So we write 5.00 because the final reading contains two decimal places. Regarding the half millimeters, we have simply half millimeter. So these are the two readings on the sleeve. Now we should take the thimble reading. We have 0 0.28 millimeter. So now we can simply add up all of these. So the final reading for this metric micrometer is 5.78 mm. So this is the way how to read the metric micrometer with 100 millimeter resolution. Let's take this another example. Here we need to know the value of the gap between the anvil and the front of the spindle. As you see below, here we have an enlargement of the two scales. So first to read the sleeve scale, we should take the edge of the thimble as a reference. So we have one complete or one full millimeter on the top of the reference line. And we have half millimeter after the one millimeter and before the edge of the thimble. So this is the readings of the sleeve scale. Now we should read the thimble scale we take this line as a reference in order to read the thimble reading. The reference line is lining up with this line. So this line is line number 30. So its reading is simply 0.30 mm. 
So the total reading of this micrometer is simply, we can sum up, for example, the full millimeter, we have one millimeter. Again, we have after the one millimeter, we have half millimeter, so 0.50. And the thimble reading is simply 0.30 mm. So the total is simply 1.80 mm. So this is the reading of this micrometer. Let's see this reading. Here we need to know the dimension of this gap, which is between the anvil and the front of the spindle. Below here we have an enlargement. In order to read the sleeve scale, we take the edge of the thimble as a reference. So regarding the full millimeters, we have this line. And this line is simply line number four millimeter. So the full millimeter is simply four. So we write 4.00. And after the four and before the edge of the thimble, we have extra 0.5 millimeter. So we add 0.50 millimeter. So this is the reading of the sleeve scale. Now we need to read the thimble scale. We take this line to be the reference. So as you see here, this line lies between line number 25 and line number 26. But it is closer to line number 26. So we read this line. So the reading for the thimble is 0.26. So we add this new reading and summing up all of these. So the total reading is simply 4.76 millimeter. Let's see this micrometer here. Regarding the full millimeter, we have 10 millimeter. After the 10 millimeter, we have another half millimeter. So we add 0 0.50 mm. So these are the readings of the sleeve scale. Now we need to read the thimble. As you see here, line number 20 is lining up with the reference line. So we read it as 0.20 mm. So we add 0.20. So the total reading is simply 10.70 mm. Let's see this reading here. And you should take care now. As you see here, the full millimeter is line number 12. So we add 12 millimeter. Regarding the half millimeter after the 12 and before the edge of the thimble, as you see here, this line is partially shown. It is not clear totally. So in order to decide whether to read this line or there is no half millimeter line, we should look at the location of the zero line on the 50 graduation and the reference line on the sleeve. As you see here, the zero line is above the reference line. So in this case, we shouldn't treat the half millimeter. So we don't have any half millimeter. So the half millimeter is simply zero. In order to read the thimble scale, as you see here, the reference line is closer to this line, and this line is line number 49. So we add 0.49 mm. So the total reading is simply 12.49. So that's all about how to read the metric micrometer. 
with 0.01 millimeter resolution. Thanks a lot for you. Goodbye.